Good morning, guys. So yesterday I went out on a bicycle tour around the town to burn some calories, but you know, uh, the road was bad. They're digging it up everywhere for telephone lines, electric lines, or gas lines, something like that, throughout the city, and a lot of different kinds of slow vehicles. So I couldn't exert my full power in the bicycling. And without uh, the full power, you know, it's not as fun. It's not as uh, taxing to the body, which can burn calories. So, yeah, it was mixed. But then I got a phone call from one of my relatives, and it really made me angry because he was asking about this and that travel, and someone else was there. But I said, hey, we should look after ourselves that in the sense that more about the elderly people like you where we can get good health care. My mom had this had her teeth removed two two three three of her teeth removed and uh, they couldn't do a simple job of this root canal treatment and they failed because they're rookies. Many of them told that there are rookies, and why did you go to the free general, free healthcare dental hospital? But we didn't know where to go, so I asked him, tell my brother that was going traveling with car to many places is good, but also look after where you can find better healthcare. Let's choose and set some hospitals, private clinics where we can go to get our health checkups done. And I also told her that the people I knew from Mumbai and some other cities, they always go to private clinic for their dental treatment and other treatments. So what about us? What would be happening to us? And, uh, yeah, it's a long and convoluted and sad story that my mom is not getting adequate treatment and the pe people in my family, other people are not really willing to try willing to get the time. For example, they went to Velour that time and he took some of my uncle's scans but had to they had they came back before my mama had the examination. So it's really ridiculous and it's uh, take, taking a toll on my body and mind. And uh, uh, Sabrina came yesterday, we sang some songs. I said that our singing is like a fresh downpour in a very hot summer night and she liked that but I think she sensed that something was a bit off because she left a bit early and I, yes I was my head was not really calm that time I was thinking about the stuff and um, yeah I'll be in contact with DOB let's see what the Psycho is up to. Uh, I think he's an idiot. He's not qualified. She doesn't qualify as a psycho or something like that. And um, and another another girl from the sounding country. I asked her if we can make this business relationship more personal, personal. Because when I asked for her number, she gave me a number that has a business account associated with it and when I asked why did she give me the business account she said she has a lot of guys and uh, she can give a personal number to everyone uh, and if she thinks that way I don't think that we are going uh, to last very long unless it's just a step towards the number everything is complicated I know I just want things to go to from A to B to C to D in a linear order, upwards order, and I want to give more of myself to that, but it's just uh, I don't know, a lot, a lot, a lot of roller coaster ride. Let's choose a topic for a short one. Optimism. So optimism is the way of thinking the positives of a situation. And as you can tell, I'm not very much of an optimist myself. And the optimist see when a water is filled in a glass up to half, an optimist sees that as 
half full instead of half empty, which and which the opposite of an optimistic pessimist would say. So, optimism is very important for our life because life cannot have an inherent meaning uh, based on the current studies because we have so many different schools of thoughts about its inner meaning. So, when we have this so many different schools of thoughts, you can say that there is no singular singular meaning of life and it's a very very simplified answer to a very complex uh, question but the gist of it is that optimism is required for us to move forward in our life especially if you're in a developing country and we see that the many what the amenities of a developed country enjoy for example healthcare which is uh, which should be a priority here, but it's actually not, not at all. Uh, so, yeah, that was a very short thing about optimism. Hope you like it. Hope to see you again. And bye bye.